uh, but unfortunately, we got the partial disclosure, what they call partial disclosure, <laughs> yesterday very late, and it was inadequate because there are just a few things they, they shared with one of our lawyers. Just post mortem report, medical examination report, and of course, the site sketch scene of crime. That is all, which do not go to the gist of the matter. The real evidence we wanted is yet to be shared with us. And that's why now they have requested for more time. That by 8th, they put in an application to see the witnesses who need to be protected. There are those who shouldn't be protected. And uh, we reluctantly accepted that, considered that, and said, okay, fine. Hey, if you will also come, let's wait. Uh, of course, you know what our clients are going through. They are on remand. They have not been tried for close to a year now since they were arrested. And we want an expeditious trial. That's where we are assisting. The disclosure should be made as soon as practicable. It should be, the processes should be expedited. And that's why we ask for stringent timelines. And we are glad the judge accepted and said by this, they should be fine. And by revenue, we should, we, should, we should be here, and the process should be concluded not later than 18. We hope they will abide by those strict and stringent timelines that have been given in the interest of justice. And again, uh, as I conclude, and allow my colleagues to come in, uh, we've had some revelations which have been made here, which are quite interesting. So the, 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 uh, the kind of evidence and testimonies coming out. You've had the, the testimonies from the courtiers, the persons regarding what they went through, the tortures, kind of uh, torture they were subjected to in the form of uh, mean, uh, so many things that were done to them as they were trying to extract confessions from them and also to implicate our clients, that is the Honorable Sejirin and the Honorable Sewanyana. They wanted that kind of accomplice evidence, we call it accomplice evidence, so that they uh, they pin them, they implicate them in these matters. But we are glad that uh, the truth is coming out. These people have spoken out of their mind and gave damning revelations that indeed were tortured they were uh, subject to that kind of inhuman treatment for purposes of extracting evidence, which is actually not allowed under the Anti-Torture Act. And we hope and pray, let me put it different actually, at some stage we shall seek for the indulgence of court to ensure that those who subjected them to this kind of uh, mistreatment and torture and whatnot be brought to court. Because under the anti-torture law of 2012, those heinous crimes cannot go unatoned for. There should be individuals to be held accountable for whatever they did uh, for purposes of extracting evidence. And we shall have to deal with that because it is quite it feels quite a lot. We need to deal with that at some stage. Um, but in a way, it brings in a new dimension to the matter because you can clearly see what the state has been doing to get our clients implicated and also for purposes of extracting extrajudicial statements or evidence from them in our clients. And of course, uh, uh, again, the, the kind of torture we condemn, it, the torture that we subjected to those courts because it's really unacceptable, it's despicable, it's abominable. Thank you. And of course, maybe I should add this. We highly suspect the reason they, they don't want to disclose evidence. That could be the reason. If we indeed they had that concrete evidence, which they have been gathering for over a year now, who would it be going into this kind of metal ground where they are being big pushed here and where this disclose evidence, please disclose evidence. They shouldn't be hide and seek games. They should be putting it on them. So now it's coming out here why they are not ready to disclose. Could be that reason. We extracted it by force through torture, through power. Thank you. Uh,
Mwanyi 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 while we are going to do our job, we are going to do our job. We are going to do our job. We are actually to do our job. We are going examination reports our job. We are going to do 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 our
ngatale cha bujuri si bwenyene obulina okulumi kababaka olufanya malo kubanti ategeza koti nti abaye tesetese bulungi batimye yetesetese bulungi nola choruna ko lwalero tubadde twagala kibere client nga 10 na rumu ogomuna nabo bakomawo mu koti chichi che batuletera era chichi che twati batagenda kuleta kubanga tukoyo okubena nga tuzanyisibwa obusanyu tukoyo kubanti ababaka bali mu komera bate wali kitambula nola cho twagala okubera nga tulwanira mazima no gwenkanya kubanga fenna tulibawereza baba bantu ate tulwanire tepe nyo Yeah.